it's a hurt situation. I want to be the person who provides for my family and not being able to keep a roof over our heads, I can't help but feel that was a failure on my part. I couldn't cut it. I I've had a very hard time getting over that. What's hard is you feel guilty. I feel like I need to be in three places at once and I don't know how, well I don't know how to do that. I'm so sorry this is happening. I'm so sorry your life is so much harder. I like living with my with Mamalu and Papa P. That's their name. But most I love my mommy because, because she loves me. I'm on the ride of a lifetime I'm on a ship that's sailing to uncharted shore and I won't be coming back here Because it just didn't make sense. It wasn't fair that Amy should have to to go through that when you know she has kids, husband, that I don't, and not knowing what to do to help. Um, I've always known her feelings, and they mimic a lot of other people's feelings at home. And the neat thing about our relationship between the two of us is that she's never ever made a mystery of how she feels about anything. So, you know, if she's upset, she'll say she's upset. You know, if she feels guilty, you know, she'll cry. If she, you know, so I know how she feels. But I've kind of been the one that holds back and doesn't necessarily share with everybody how I feel. I haven't really talked to very much anybody um, before this trip about, about that feeling and it just seems to be coming out a lot. The guilt is something that is really hard to, to kind of deal with and hard to articulate. And when I was standing there, all of a sudden I realized that she's, you know, standing like five feet away in a different circle, but that she's going to hear me say that I feel bad and I didn't want her to have to think about how bad I feel, like it shouldn't be about me. The, the more I try to talk about things that matter, the harder it is and the more I cry. So maybe if I write it down, it'll be a bit easier. Every time I think there's a normal, a new normal, it changes. And as a planner and someone who's a warrior, that's a really difficult thing. When my daughter was really young, you know, she didn't understand. But now, now it's really hard because she gets it. Like, she talks to her friends about what chemo is and why I have no hair. And that's really, really tough to have a five-year-old. That's her normal. Um, at the sitter one day, she came home and she had drawn a whole bunch of smiley faces and cut them out from construction paper and said if you put these all over your room mommy then you'll feel better so I have them all over my room oh wow guys today has been awesome as with every day there's been so many highs so I went on the tube today and it was really scary um, <laughs> but it was also a lot of fun. And then I didn't realize how big the last set of rapids that we would be doing today was. And you know, I, I did one by myself, just hanging on, it was all good, and I was like, this is great. And then we went over the last set of rapids and I nearly fell off, and my feet were in the air, and I was screaming my brains out because I was so terrified, and I was hanging on for dear life, and my fingers were like sore afterwards. I stayed on the boat and didn't fall off, but that was like the biggest challenge. And at the time, I was like, this, 
is so not fun. And then afterwards I was like, as soon as the water calmed, I was like, no, that was worth it. That was so worth it. I've been really reflective and introspective, but today I've really been more just here and experiencing it and actually seeing what I'm looking at and actually feeling the highs and lows as they're happening and and yeah, just not worrying because this is the moment that I'm living in right now and this deserves my attention. Hey Aim, thanks for taking me on this amazing trip. I came here with you, and I came here for you, but a lot of what's coming out is me. And all that seems to do is compound this feeling of guilt. I remember telling people at work about your miracle baby Avery, and announcing victoriously how you had been cancer free ever since that, just days before you told me that the cancer was back. I don't want to burden you with the weight of my guilt and my fears. This isn't about me, and I would much rather your, your focus be on you. But I do want to tell you how sorry I am that this disease has touched you and changed your life while mine remained relatively healthy. Like even, even in writing the letter, like the focus is her. And it's not a bad thing. Like I, I definitely would rather the focus be on her. She was my rock for so much. And then it kind of switched, you know. Yeah, so now I get to be her rock. And I don't know how to be a rock, but I can try. Right now, what she's going through and the struggles that she's going through, like my life, I know where things are going in my life. I know what to expect in the struggles in my life that doesn't contain, like the way, like in my family, in my life, in my job. I know all those things. And hers is where the uncertainty is. That's where it matters more. Like in, in the helping and in the, the caring and everything, it's, it's more about her, it's not about me. And my hurts and my fears and my struggle, I, I could see as kind of secondary. I guess one thing I wonder is, if it's, if it's not healthy to hold it all inside, how do you talk to somebody who's going through the fight of their life about how it affects you? How do you talk to them about that? That's not fair to them. They have enough to deal with. I feel like I'm going crazy talking to a camera. Although I hate cancer, I love the people that I've met. And I love how much more honest and real it's made my life. Because although it's really sucky in a lot of ways, it really, it makes you open up your life. And, and you learn a lot. A lot more than I think I would have by now had I not had cancer. I'm so sorry this is happening. I'm so sorry your life is so much harder. I'm sorry it's because I know you blame yourself and I think that's ridiculous because this is in no way your fault. This is something that just happens. It could have happened to me just as easily. And if it did, you would move heaven and earth just to make me feel a little bit better. And I can't believe how lucky I am to have somebody like you care about somebody like me.